Now the ITV News in London with Nina Hussain. Tonight, what's taking so long? Why hasn't the flammable cladding been removed, leaving thousands of homes as death traps after Grenfell? All we want is to make sure that people are safe in their homes, and the fact that still 21 months on, we're still in the same position that we were 21 months beforehand, I think it's appalling. Only in London to see where her brother was murdered, the sister of a Spanish victim of knife crime on how they're broken. Also tonight, take a look at this. Seconds from death after the wind sends piles of bricks crashing to the ground. And the Essex Marine who smashed a rowing record and some. You only ever, only ever one bad wave away from absolute disaster. How many homes in England still have flammable cladding a year and a half on from Grenfell? If we're talking private buildings, the figure is 94%. That means right now people living in 26,000 flats go to bed every night wondering if what happened at Grenfell Tower could happen to them. Well, now some of those people are taking action, forming a new group to try to get the cladding torn down. Here's Rags Martel. <laughs> 